French actress Eva Inesco has sued her mother, Irina, for taking pornographic photos of her when she was as young as four years old. In fact, she took those types of photos between the ages of four and 12. And when she was 11, some of those erotic photos actually ended up in the Italian version of Playboy. Now, this was back in 1976, and Eva claims that her mother robbed her of her childhood. She wants those pictures taken off her mother's website. In fact, they're still up. And uh, uh, the French court basically ruled that the mother not only has to take down the photos, not only has to destroy the uh, proofs of the photos, but also has to pay Eva $13,213. So that's, of course, 10,000 euros, and that's why it translates into that weird number for dollars. Uh, and that nude pictures ranged in age when, when the daughter was uh, between 4 and 12 years old. I don't understand why this wasn't taken down decades ago. I mean, naked pictures of 4-year-olds, 11-year-olds, 12-year-olds are all child porn. And right. So now I understand that in the 1970s they might have had different mores, and even then I think a lot of people would have thought it was questionable. Uh, but the fact that they were on the website in this day and age is crazy talk. How was she in Playboy when she was 11? I, I, yeah. I don't know how that worked. And you got to keep in mind that this was in the 70s. And uh, the defense in this case, the mother and the lawyers, basically argued, well, times were different in the 70s. Okay, So these types of photos might have been a little racy, but they didn't have the same kind of like reaction that they get now. Which, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if that's a good defense. Obviously, it wasn't because they lost. Um, but it is kind of amazing that everyone knows what Playboy is for. Playboy right. isn't there for art. You know what I mean? Like some might argue it is artistic. No, but, no, but no, no. it's not. The Italian men in 1977 did not buy Playboy for the art. Exactly, okay. that's what I'm saying. And so now, of course, we're only showing you the picture where she's clothed there. And already that's, you know. That picture is 100% fine, right? Right, but, right. She took but then when you take your clothes off, it becomes a whole 100% not yeah. fine. There are okay. pictures of her topless. There are pictures of her in lingerie. Okay. They're very sexually suggestive. She's like, well, that was. you have to understand it was fine in 1977. Well, I got news for you. It's not 1977. You can't still have it on your website, even if that argument was true. And look, yes, did uh, girls get married uh, earlier uh, in uh, 1877 and 1777? And 777, yes, okay. But I'm not sure that 1977 is like, like, well, I mean, obviously, we were sexualizing 11 year olds and four year olds in 1977, and that's totally fine. I think that a lot of people would make an argument against that. Here's a bad uh, development for uh, all parties concerned. In addition to p appearing in Playboy, and, and again, you can see what appear to be some of the pictures on the internet, and they're so inappropriate, they instantly make you wildly uncomfortable. But reading her Wikipedia page, uh, she made her movie debut at the age of 11, 1976, playing a child in a movie called The Tenant, directed by... Roman Polanski. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. there you have it. <laughs>